All right, hey guys, just while I'm editing this, I thought it'd be easy to come in and kind of explain something at the start. So this episode as a whole was kind of awkward to split up into like concise, even segments for like the four parts I'm going to upload. So this part does kind of fade out at a random time, uh, but that's just so that overall the, the flow is kind of more concise and natural over the four episodes, if that makes sense. And just to like kind of even it up time wise, it wouldn't have made sense if I'd let this one run like super long. Other than that, the rest of this intro is just me kind of providing exposition. So if you haven't seen the last few episodes or you haven't seen any, I'm just kind of explaining what's happened so far. So if you want to skip all that, go straight into the juice. You can go to this point here where we'll start with Sean's recap. And yeah, from there, just carry on with the rest of the episode. So yeah, with all that being said, hope you're having a great day and I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks, guys. Do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh... Yes, I do, actually. I don't know if I can. <laughs> yes, you can. Oh. I just need your input. hey -o. Okay? Okay, hey guys, welcome to Nukes Plays, and today we are going to be finishing Life is Strange 2. That's right, we're doing episode 5, entitled Wolves. Now, in the last one, it was really awesome, not gonna lie. I've been waiting for it to kind of pick up, and it finally did. Uh, Daniel, with his magical superpowers, was taken in by a cult and turned into some sort of like angel and shit. And it was really awesome and I loved it. And hopefully we will kind of continue in that kind of upward trajectory as we go into this final episode. Uh, basically at the end of the last one, we kind of saved Daniel from this cult. He came back with us. So now it's Daniel, Sean and their mum who went missing for a while and they're all together and they're going off to go into Mexico like they planned all along basically. That's basically where we're up to, let's jump right in. The final part, the final chapter, this is what we've been waiting for since we started. Episode 5, Wolves of Life is Strange 2, here we go. Overall, if you haven't seen any of these, basically uh, the two brothers are on the run because their dad got shot by a policeman and the younger brother like lashed out with his magic power that he didn't know he had and uh, killed the policeman, so they've been on the run. They kind of bumped into a few random people. In the last one, Sean got taken to hospital and was like questioned by police, and they were going to take him to juvie because they didn't believe, or they, they couldn't work out what had happened, and he wasn't going to tell them about his brother, presumably because they would like taken him to some sort of like X-Men testing facility thing and uh yeah that i guess that wasn't the life that he wanted for his brother he wanted him to just live like a normal nine-year-old's life but yeah obviously angels and working for a cult on in a normal nine-year-old's life but that's what happened anyway and uh, we saved them from there and so now sean daniel and his mum are on the road and looking to get into mexico like they'd been planning all along so let's see how that goes once upon a time in a wild wild world there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the Wolf Brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world. But danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt. And the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage. But when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. They back to the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother 
far into the desert to her hideaway. And yes, not only did we like save him, but we just fucking burnt the church down because fuck him, yeah. But no, it was pretty awesome. I did enjoy that. And uh, definitely the best episode we've done so far. So if you're going to check any of the other ones out, other than this one, I'd definitely say check out episode four, which was titled Faith, I think. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Probably like the perkiest Daniel Diaz has brothers. been like the whole time. Always. And like the best their kind of relationship has been. Because usually he's like being a bit of a brat and Sean's getting pissed off at him. So this is a, an interesting change for once. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. Yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. That'd be an interesting way to go if they like bring her back and she's like trying to track him down again. I didn't think of that as a possibility. Listen, we're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean, are we criminals now? You've kind of been criminals since the first episode. No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah, I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but 
We'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Inanna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair deep in the red desert. That's a cool show. The wolf brothers rested for a while. But at some point, it's about time they got some new threads because he's been wearing that like same jumper south. pretty much since like the first episode. I they think. were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lie a mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are, but it's my story too. Right? I don't know where they got the little ascots from as well, but I like how it's like matching the, the rest of their clothes. Dude, this is my version. You can make your own. Okay. Cool. So... <clears throat> the Wolf Brothers finally see the edge of their new home. Okay, okay. I gotta think of my own version first, so you don't influence me. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Stephen King Jr. Get on that. After we pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. <laughs> Every star looked the same until we used Karen's old guidebook. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Okay, so we've got a telescope, a flashlight, Pretty useless with the crazy moonlight we had. <laughs> but it scares the coyotes away. How do we get him to do stuff, is it? All right, left trigger, I knew it sounded like that. Activate flashlight. On the way. So yeah, where's the mom? Do you reckon she's like off gathering shit or something? Or she literally just like left them to go off on their own again? So it's some food containers and sodas. Oh, I thought it said socks, like, the first that time. That food was amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Joanne. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop! Daniel! Can't catch it, huh? <laughs> no shit. Now cut it out. Jeez! You're no fun. And that's the friction that we've been having the whole time. Yep. Still need our processed sugar in this hippie desert. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. Yay, little shit. So other than that, we have a sketchbook, which we can draw in. Yeah, I said last time that I will put up the sketchbook at some point. I might put it up at the end. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. There's like, because you can see there's like 105 pages and whatever we do after this one, so it's going to be a hell of a lot. i still draw after. Oh yeah, I forgot that they put yeah. like the eye patch kind of thing at the side. <laughs> it's kind of yeah. cool. But... If I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop trying. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. 
So I'm guessing you won't like talk to himself this time, because usually he's like, I can draw now. I I've looked far enough. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm. I can try. Go for badass, why not? So I'm feeling like at the end, what might happen is that he kind of like rebels and goes like too far and then he's like out of control and we have to like stop him. Possibly using... My back hurts a little. Brute force. I'm glad we're sleeping in. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Jeez. Do I really look that evil? He looks more like a super villain. Well, gee. You're welcome. Alright, so let's pack that away then, now that you've ruined the mood with your fucking insults. Don't I bother to spend like 30 seconds drawing that for you? I'm glad we had these. Not a fan of desert critters. Anything over here? I don't think so. Let's have a look at the telescope. So incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. <laughs> it's like we're right there. I hope we could go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? Dude, we don't have time to play. Come on, let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. Can you imagine that flying scorpions? They were like pretty badass. Yeah, there you go. I tell you what, because it's the, the, the finale, should we actually put some shit on our backpack that we never actually use in the other one? So, after I've gone back through and collected them all, after we've finished them, let's have a look. What are some of the cool ones? We've got, we've got to go for Power Bear. I wish we saw so so stars. Okay, so we are off. Or any. <laughs> on our journey. And it froze. I couldn't, I couldn't get that close to an edge. Hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. That's steep. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. <laughs> yeah, these guys are real cool. Who the hell are Arthur and Stanley? Hey, see this? Looks like the ones you did back in that cabin, when you got sick. Oh, totally. Wait, does that mean other people were here? Of course. Maybe someone from away did it. Oh, I bet it was Joanne. Didn't Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah, Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Look at that, that's pretty awesome. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? She's... Um, confused. Yeah, let's discuss some weed. Amazing that anything can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well... Oh, uh, good question. Got some cacti. Anyway, what I was saying is, like, what do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know, I mean, she hasn't seen you for years. Not sure she can deal with all of this at the same time. Huh. 
It must be weird for her. I hear you. So I'm assuming that we've bumped into like a new group of like random people along with the mum. But I don't know how like going, I guess they're going through the canyon rather than like just looking at it, but it's still kind of strange. My legs are gonna be like yours after all this hiking now. Oh shit. Hey, you know who I'd see having a Looks like a job here? for our local super psychic boy. <laughs> who? <laughs> Brody. He'd love it. Brody, I like, remember Brody. He could have his own radio station and everything. Yeah, definitely. <sighs> it would be. Every time I do that, every time, like I think they're done talking, and I know he's got some more shit to say. Fuck it. So, maybe you can help us get out of here. Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. Look out below. There you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice, man. His eyes look super weird in this one. I know it's just a reflection, but they look kind of sinister. Oh, is that it? I was sure when we started, we'd like see the hair grow like loads, but we haven't really, because they kind of shaved it on purpose. I think just so that they didn't have to have it long. I don't know why. So I wonder if this one is going to be like a bumper one or whether it's just going to be like normal length because the other ones we've all pretty much done like literally five to ten minutes, five to fifteen minutes after like the three hour mark. So I'm wondering if this one's going to be the same or whether this one might be like closer to four because it's the big like conclusion. So I'm just interested to see how this goes. Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. It usually takes us like 45 minutes to get to that kind of opening, like title screen thing. So this is like the quickest we've got to it. So I don't know if that's a sign that's gonna be like two and a half hours rather than like the normal three. I guess we'll find out. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat, pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry, I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. Well, we've done the whole thing, so if we try going over here, it'll be like, nope, I'll better turn around for no reason. See how far out we can go. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. So this kind of reminds me of that kind of, I think it was like the scrapyard slash kind of like the, the rubbish heap in the first one that they kind of went to and pay, played a big part of the story by the end of it. Uh, if you saw or played that. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Guess people came here with ease and never left. So we've got some like fucking sculptors around here as well. What's the swap box? It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. Okay, I guess you just like put something in there and then take something else if you like it. That's a pretty cool system. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Love the energy out here, with everyone building stuff as they please. Yeah, okay, check objectives. Bring the telescope back to Arthur, check on Daniel. Can we put any of our, like, collector's stuff on?
There you go, we can put we can put these on. Fuck it. Let's go for the skull. Skulls are cool. Yes. Oh, there's a movie theater, that's cool. Joan oh Joanne. I'm gonna keep calling her Joan, like if I read it. More junk. This place is the ultimate playground for Tanya. Joanne can throw a total rager out here, but without asshole neighbors. So I guess they're chilling here for a bit rather than just like trying to push on to go to Mexico. I love how they recycle everything into art, construction, or agriculture here. Anything on the back? Joanne picks up all kinds of scraps from the desert. She even found a boat once. I don't believe it. Who's going to be sailing around in the desert? What a weirdo. Alright, so he's like chilling at the back. We can just have a look at this stuff. There's power cuts all the time here. But no one's really bothered by it. I mean, you take what you can get in the middle of the fucking desert, man. Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. Can we go in here? What oh, is a board game? Is it chess? Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <sighs> kind of like me and Lila. Back in the day. Yeah, I thought Lila would have played like a, a bigger part or like kind of come back, but she never really did. <sighs> Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd probably fall asleep if I watched Bollywood. Like, I've never watched one in my life. Love watching movies under the stars. Like a drive-in. With no cars. Uh, like, even though I'm, like, a film guy, I think I just get, like, super bored. What else can we do? Can we go over here? Is this gonna... Okay, yeah, we... Oh, no, okay, that's because we run into a plant. It's got some weird, like, little dome things. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, no, okay. Town sign. Welcome to Away. I bet Hippie started this place. <laughs> I'm starting to see why now. Leave the past today, you can st forever stay. The Founding Sisters. Established in 1975. Away, Arizona. That's where we are. <laughs> Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Ah, oh, there they are, Arthur and Stanley. Morning, Sean. <sighs> now that's some real patriots. Morning, guys. Morning, guys. Huh. You think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. Too cute. <laughs> Looks like Brody, the bear. Wonder where he's at now. Hmm. <laughs> he could write our whole story. They should contact him when they get to Mexico. He'd probably do it. Oh, not again. Hmm. <laughs> It's kind of cute, though. Is there anything with this sign or anything behind it? No. Hello? Yeah, I guess we better give them their, uh, telescope. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Morning. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. Reminds me of uh, Masuka from Dexter. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. But the beads on that necklace has multiple uses. The canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. 
We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. I doubt it. That sounds cool, but we gotta be leaving soon. We still have a ways to go. Technically, you're already in a way. Ho ho! I get it, you still have to find your home. We were lucky. And old enough to find ours here. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years, until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. That's one fucking smoky cup. So why stay? He's just drinking a cup of dry ice, apparently. After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. So there you go, that's Arthur and Stanley. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Arthur and Stanley cannot wait for the 4th of July. I'm guessing we'll probably only have like maybe. one or two, maybe, more hey, scenes Sean. here, and then we'll kind of like never see them what again. Were you doing so. At you're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. But hey, artist! Come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. <laughs> Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. You don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. Yeah, kind of interesting because as I'm recording this, it's like Pride Month, so I guess that's fitting, you know? Arthur and Stanley representing uh, the current times as I'm playing, I guess. Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. So let's look at what these wild sculptures are. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> But you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. She's scary. <laughs> talent? Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Only dumbasses think they know everything. It's okay to not know stuff. <sighs> Don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. So why are you all the way out here now? <laughs> Easy. I started selling my work for good money. And as soon as I did, everyone turned into smiling sharks. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh... Yes, I do, actually. I don't know if I can. <laughs> yes, you can. 
Oh. I just need your input. Hey -o. Okay. <sighs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Ah, there you go. Stop touching me. No. Go stand over there. He's very bossy. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. Wild sculpture. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. This is random. So, obviously, you'd go... Belly, arm, head, right? Maybe that's supposed to represent the Earth. Or a ball. Let's just do what she wants. Like, fuck it. So, we have the belly. Ready, Sean? <laughs> okay, Daniel. Can you... Slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch the... Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. It wasn't much of a dunk. Oh, you should totally do like the model. But with the spider on top. Oh, you can turn them around. That's kind of... Hey, can you turn that earth ball around a little bit? See, Sean. Uh, then go for arms, because that's what you would do. <laughs> looks like a freaking steampunk spider. Steampunk spider. It looks cooler on its own. Now, let's throw on that spider. You got it. But I guess we'll see how it looks. And then the head. Man, I thought my art was weird. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Check it out! <laughs> so when I started, like, the final chapter, I didn't think that we would just be ordering Daniel to make a giant sculpture out of shit. Is that not okay like that? Uh, okay, I guess we can... I, I'm i fine with it like that. I quite like how the arms are all, like, kind of weird. I feel like we're almost done. <laughs> well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Was it? Not really. Joanna's so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. How's it her art? We just fucking made it. I bet you would like Minecraft. Yeah, I could see, I could see it like it. And a yeah. thing to look at. Oh, we can't. Oh, we can't get the school bus. This part of town is dead this time of year. I miss those bus trips with Lila and the guys. What's the story with this one? It's okay. It's all over. <laughs> Just thirty dead children skeletons inside it. But we'll never know, because you can never go over there. Uh, we're going to talk to her now, maybe? Yeah, you hate it. You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on after it. After I'm done having some boys uh, do it for me? It helps me connect with it. Right, okay. Cool. Let's go. Well, there he is. Thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. Okay, we can't speak with him? What's the objective? Wait for Karen to come back. Okay, I guess he was fucking wasting time then until our mum comes back. This is... 
Uh, anything to do? No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. That counts. Can't talk to him or even like look at him or analyze him. You can sit in a chair. There's a sound drawing. Okay, that's something interesting. I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town. And we can't go over here, right? Unless we can now, because we've done that thing. No, okay. Let's sit down, I guess. Then something might happen. Unless it just does that thing where it kind of just like changes angles. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. I'll just leave him sat here till he's done talking, because, I mean, there's nothing you else to really do it. as far as I can tell. But the closer you get, it changes. Since we're just waiting for the mom to come back. I thought the people here would be like freaks. But they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. <laughs> I guess I'm always gonna be a visitor. <laughs>